Data collected using Kubo Toolbox can be effectively imported into SPSS for data analysis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly do just that. Most researchers now use Kobo Toolbox to collect data electronically on their mobile phones. And after having a good time collecting data, they want to start data analysis. Now, an obvious next step will be to import the data to SPSS for analysis, right? Well, that's usually a walk in the park for most people because they can easily download the data in Excel format. And since they have watched my three minute video on how to import Excel um, into SPSS, the link is above if you haven't watched it, they can easily figure out how to import the CSV data from Kobo Toolbox to SPSS for analysis. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. Now, unfortunately, by the time they start to run their analysis in SPSS, they quickly discover that something is fundamentally wrong. Yes. Now, if you're watching this and you have been in this situation, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. Labels, right? Labels. Now, well, researchers quickly find out that though the data now is in SPSS, all the data labels and values are missing. Oh no. Yeah. Well, it's because you didn't import the data the correct way in the first place. To correctly import the data from Kobo Toolbox, you need to follow a couple of steps. Stick around so I'll show you how to do it the easy way. Okie dokie, add a So there are four basic steps in which you need to follow. The first step is for you to download the files you need. All right. There are two of them. Okay. Uh, and then the next is to import into SPSS. All right. Then you run a quick command. Okay. And then finally you explore your data, all right? Okay, easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. So what are we waiting for? Let's do this, shall we? So the first thing you need to do is to go to the Kobo Toolbox website and log into your account. Next, you click on the particular data form file that has the data that you want to import into SPSS, the data that you've already collected, all right? So we will just click on this uh, first form over there and it brings us to the summary page. So this is just a mini dashboard that you can see, all right? So we are just going to go over to the downloads over here and click on it, okay? Now, listen very carefully here because this is where most researchers miss the mark. This is where they make the mistake. So here we are going to do two separate exports, all right? I repeat, two separate exports. The first one will give us the labels that we need. And then the second one will give the data that we want to work on. So let's go ahead with the first step and download and export uh, the labels. Now, under the select export type, all right, click the drop down and select SPSS labels, okay? Then under the value and header format, select labels. Uh, and this is because we want to extract the labels. Remember, we want to just extract the labels. Then all you need to do is to click on export. Okie dokie, add the choky. So we now have the label file. You can see that it's already processed, okay? Now, all we need to do now is to just download it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, the next thing we need to do is to get the main data file since we have already fetched the labels, okay? So using the same steps, let's go to the export type, all right? And this time we'll be downloading the Excel file. So we'll just select XLS, all right? And under the value and header format, we select XML values and headers, okay? Now, uh, why we're doing this is because we want to be able to match it with the labels that we've already downloaded before okay then we'll just click on export over here all right and then allow the file also to process as we did before and then we download it again just like before now so we now have both files that we need all right we have the labels file and then we have the data file okie dokie adichoki now we get to the phone part okay let's go to our downloads folder on our computer and we can see the two files that we have downloaded all right so let's select uh the first file now if you look at the first file that's the one we downloaded right whoa wait a minute man this file is looking very different this is different from the normal spss file that we know the normal spss file is an sab file this is looking super different if you know spss files you know that this file is looking different well you notice that this is an spss syntax file all right so don't be afraid just click on this file all right now this file is going to open in spss but what you are going to notice is that the file is going to open in another window all right that's the spss syntax window now most people don't know that spss is able to work like stata or like r or like even python all right uh, where you can write commands and execute them uh, and and that's the syntax window now now don't be afraid because most people when they hear about 
programming and commands, they start to get afraid, right? Don't be afraid. Uh, we're not going into programming, all right? This is not a coding session, okay? <laughs> now, so all you need to do here is to just know how to run this code. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in a very, very simple way. The codes have already been populated for us automatically. All we need to do is to just run the code. That's all. In another video, God willing, I am going to teach you how to write the SPSS code. It's actually very, very easy and it's very, very similar even to English language. If you have been using the SPSS software, you will know that this is actually um, simple to do. Uh, but this time around, all you need to do is just to run the code. So that's what we're going to do. So alrighty. That's the um, syntax window. You will see that all the value labels that we need are actually there, all right? So let's just keep this aside for now and we'll come back to it um, soon. So let's then import the main data, all right, into SPSS. Uh, and that's the second file that we downloaded. And if you look at it also, this is an Excel file, right? Um, so all we are going to do is to import the Excel file into SPSS. And if you remember how to do this, all we're going to do is just to go to um, file, all right, then import data, all right, then check of all the options we have, you're going to choose um, Excel file. Okay, so just choose Excel, all right, and then we're going to um, look for the Excel file. Yes, that's the file there, all right, and then just click on it. Okay, and when you click on it, you're going to see this dialog box um, popping up, all right. All we do here is to just check off the remove leading and remove trailing spaces from string values. And if you do that, just click on OK. And if you do that, we're OK to go, right? OK. So now we have the Kobo toolbox data in SPSS. Okie dokie, adichoki. Now, alrighty. What we need to do now is to check out this data. If you notice, only few of them have labels. In fact, just maybe like one or two out of the hundreds of data elements that we have here. And if you look, there are no even values at all. So all the values in which we put during our form creation in Kobo toolbox were not imported with this file. They were actually imported with the other syntax file. Okay, so this data that we just imported is now left without values and labels. And once we run any analysis, we're not going to see these values and uh, we'll just probably see some numbers. Very, very difficult to work with. So what we need to do now is the final step, okay? We will just need to run the code with the labels. And uh, when we run this code, it's going to help us to extract the labels in this code and import them into each and every variable um, in our data file. And that's already in SPSS. So automatically we would have all our labels and you will see it's really, really very simple, okay? So all we need to do now is to go to the syntax window, all right? Like I said, the codes have already been pre-populated for us. They've already been generated, all right? We just need to run it. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of, all right? So for us to run this code, all we need to do is to highlight all of the codes, all right? So just press on Control A on your keyboard, all right? So it's going to highlight everything. It highlights all the code, <laughs> all right? <laughs> You're still afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. All right. Then look up above and click on the green play button up there. All right. So there's this green play button. Click on it. All right. So and when you click on it, this is going to immediately go back to the SPSS file uh, that we left open. All right. And you will see when you check and see, you see that all our labels have been populated correctly. Right. And so so and you see that all the values have been automatically populated man this is super super awesome okie dokie added chalky so let's just check on this variable and see we can see the labels right okay so that means we've done it correctly and we can also see the values all right so let's look at um, this other variable marital status see perfect this is super, super awesome. So this is a very nifty feature that allows you to easily import your values as well as all your labels into SPSS for analysis. So no more struggling with having to enter labels manually over again, all right? So now we are even free to run any kind of analysis we want to run. So let's try. So everybody remembers how to run analysis in SPSS, right? Let's do some simple analysis. So let's go to analyze, all right? Descriptive statistics and then frequencies. All right, and let's put in this variable and see. <laughs> okay, now you see, awesome. 
all our values and labels are intact. Okie dokie, add a chokey. So my Kobo Toolbox researchers continue having lots of fun using Kobo Toolbox to collect data. And when you import your data into SPSS, you don't have to start entering the data values one after the other again. And there's absolutely nothing to worry about. So these values are going to be populated automatically and you can now focus on the big picture. Let's allow the computer to do its own job and we can use our brains to do better things. All right, let's get more time to think critically about the implications of our research results and provide the insights that we need to save the world. Now, if you want to learn how to develop solid forms, mobile forms with Kobo Toolbox, XForms, ODK, Honor, iForms, um, EpiInfo Mobile, then click on the link that is popping up above here or check the description box below. And as usual, if you have any requests for any SPSS tutorials, please let me know in the comment section uh, below and I'll add it to the list of my requests that I have, okay? Alrighty, this is how to import Kobo Toolbox data into SPSS for analysis. And God willing, in my next video, we are going to start an entirely new series of data analysis sessions with SPSS. But until then, peace.